Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848 and welcome back to Bellright. Today we are going to be making the long trip to the south. We're going to be going to, I forget the name of the place, Black Ridge Pool. All right, it's going to be freaking awesome. Um, there's going to be a bridge around here. Someone was telling me this, like, this is a big lake and you need to find the bridge. Um, I think this road goes directly over the bridge, uh, so I should be okay. Hopefully we make it there on any issues. Now, Here's the thing. Uh, some people are saying that uh, I should probably take out some bandit camps. Uh, something about getting a bunch of renown and stuff. Instead of going to a new town, uh, do stuff at the towns I'm in and get some more renown. Here's the thing. I don't have any more quests at the new towns. I have the bandit camp near Padstow. That's definitely what I'm going to do. This one's going to be a while. I can't do anything with this until I get the wolf trophy. And believe me, I've killed a lot of wolves. I don't understand how I don't have a wolf trophy yet. Uh, now, I think I get a wolf part and then I build it into a trophy. I have to research it and I have to build it. I get all that. I have the stat, what I need for the stag trophy. I have what I need for the boar trophy. I just need to get what I need for the wolf trophy. Then there's mixology, which is why I'm going to the new camp. And then there's this one, which I can't make bronze arrows. So honestly, this is the last quest I could do for the areas around me. Now, people are saying, go take out bandit camps. I know I can take out a lot of these bandit camps, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really don't want to. Because every time I take out a bandit camp, it raises the raid threat from my base and I start getting attacked more. Not only do I get attacked more, but the raids will get harder and harder. And I actually lost people on the last raid. Now, I have gone through all of my, my guys, and I don't think my guys were geared up properly on the last raid. I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe one of my archers didn't have uh, arrows or something, and... I probably should have lost as many people as I did on the last raid, so maybe it wasn't as bad as it seems, but it seemed pretty pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some extra stuff here. Uh, okay, so we got Traveler's Garb. I know I need two more of those. Thick Breaches. This all looks really good. These are the best boots I can make until Tier 2. And yes, I could get into Tier 2 right now if I want to, but I'm holding back because it's also going to up my raid threat. And I don't even have the best gear for Tier 1, so why would I move up to Tier 2 and have like more raids come in? Uh, it just doesn't make sense. So let me get geared up. And uh, Pat, everyone I have has, like, boots that have, like, one or two armor. So these are going to be really nice boots. Uh, I just need more linen because I ran out of flax. Also, I need fur, which means I need boars. I'm going to try and figure out a way to sell stuff to make money today. Now, I can go kill uh, bandits and stuff to make money. It doesn't make me that much money. It's usually, like, 10, 20 gold. It's, like, almost nothing. Uh, and the quests are starting to thin out. So I want to find something I could sell to get a constant supply of money coming in so I can buy the fur. Because, I'm going to be honest with you guys, going out and hunting some boars is pretty fun. It's fun. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I had a good time with it. But the amount of boars you have to hunt in this game to keep your guys, to get the armor for your guys is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You nothing but hunting boars. So, uh, what else did I want to talk about? I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to do stuff that ups the threat, but I'm just, I'm a little nervous and uh, I need better gear. And, oh yeah, I have to set up for more bows and quivers because I want more archers. So let's go ahead and set up for another couple quivers, couple bows, and I'm going to up the amount of arrows. Target amount reached. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's just... Uh, see, that's going to take that's gonna take river reeds. I think I'd probably want to set... Well, I can get river reeds pretty quick now. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have enough for all this because of the river reeds. Okay. I need to come back and get more river reeds. Uh, let's just do two. And that should be pretty good. We'll go up to 16. Nah, 12 arrows should be good. I don't know what it, I don't know how many arrows 12 arrows is. I'm not sure if it's like 12 sets of arrows. Or oh, we have a couple bows in there already. Never mind. So the bows are good. We just need the quivers. Alright, beautiful. So let's get going. Uh by the way, river reeds. I was gonna set up a camp to do river reeds. I have a travel sign right here. I can get river reeds myself really easily. No point in setting up a camp. Alright, let's do this, guys. Uh let's save the game really quick. In case things go catastrophically bad. And I've been talking to people about turning off raids. Uh, I feel like the raids might outpace the difficulty a little bit. Uh, and I've been talking to people that said that they turned off the raids and they had... Or they made them easier. You can make them easier without turning them off. Right now they're like medium all around the board. But um, the last thing I'm going to do is turn them off. I'm not going to turn them off unless I unless I, they're really making it less fun to play the game. Uh, right now it's fine. What is this? Why is there water on the ground? Alright, whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, we have no good food in here. Um, by the way, the small piece of smoked meat is going to be my hit point meat. And it should be very doable because... You know, let's take a couple of these. Uh, because that small meat is coming from my rabbit traps, which I have set up. 
Uh, there's, like, as far as the big meat goes, I have to go, like, farm the big meat. <laughs> the big... That's what they call me. The, the big meat. <laughs> um, yeah, I had to, like, go farm uh, the big meat. Is my shield in good condition? Yeah, it is. And here's here's the thing. Um, I don't want to be going to farm stuff like that. Uh, it's Especially food, because food goes bad. It's not like you just go farm it one day and save it up. It's going to go bad. And it goes bad damn quick, too. So we need some kind of... Um, ugh, I'm going to wait until that's uh, open. We're going to need some kind of animal pen or something. Maybe some animal husbandry. That will help us get big meat. Who knows? Maybe that's in tier two and tier three. I don't know. I'm not there yet. Well, this is kind of scary. Look at this. Fucking bandits left, bandits to the right. Their bandits are on the road in the direction I need to go. Oh, boy. Uh, did they go off the road? I hope they did. It looks like they might have, or maybe the road goes that way. I'm not really sure. Actually, maybe the go road goes that way. Ah, these guys are going to be my way. I could try and run by them and just hope I can out sprint them. <laughs> sounds pretty stupid to me, but... Um, anything might be better than just following them down the road. I mean, by the way, they're going over the bridge I'm supposed to go over. Ugh. All right, um, you know what? If worse comes to worse, I can always reload. Let's just try and run by these idiots. Yeah, because this sucks, man. They're going to get one all the way down the road. And there's like five of them or four of them. All right, I'm going to go until they see me. And then I'm just going to sprint by them. <laughs> Oh, this is never gonna work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they have like nice armor and shields and everything and better weapons and all that. Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh no! Run away! Oh, great, an archer. Oh, good, he can't hit me. He can't hit me. Oh, he hit me. Oh, come on, he hit me in the shield. How the hell does that work? Like, shouldn't my shield be blocking that? I mean, I guess I went through my shield, but that's what a shield is for. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to make this. I'm going to run out of stamina. Well, I'm going to try. Come on, you're bored. Leave me alone. Oh, man, there's more in front of me? Dude, look at the map. Look at the freaking map. All right, so those guys have gotten bored. And there's going to be more in front of me. Unbelievable. There's no way I'm going to get by these guys, too. It's bandage. Can you use a bandage on the on the what? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. And try man, look at this map, dude. This is insane. Oh, this is we are <laughs> We are not safe. We are definitely not safe. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of thread the needle. Uh, let's go a little bit more this way. I am really threading the needle right now, no joke. No friggin' joke, dude. Oh my goodness. I guess if I brought all my people, I could just fight through this stuff, but... I don't know. And these, uh, yeah, they're bandits. Brigands aren't, like, hostile to me yet, I don't think. Alright, so we got past all that. Now we need to head to the right. Should I save the game? You know what I'll do? I'll save the game right here in case, uh, in case I, I don't want to block myself into a bad spot and not be able to get out. Man, this is rough, dude. Oh, they're, they're good. There's more. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen a bandit, like, I haven't seen a group of five bandits in, like, two seconds. Did they see me? Sometimes they yell, and I think they're seeing me, but they, they're not. No, the guys, those guys didn't see me. They'd be... They'd be coming at me a lot. Like, they'd be coming in this direction a lot harder. Ooh, okay. Freaking exciting. All right. Now, where are we? Are we going the right way? I think we are. I think we are. I will obviously put a sign right outside this freaking place. Oof. I gotta get a tier two. Um, did I mention in the beginning of the video? Honestly, I don't remember what I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but... Um, I am ready to move into tier two. I just don't want to do it because it's going to up my, you know, the raids that come in on my base that I feel like I'm starting to get to the point where I can't handle. So, but I, I really should go into tier two. We're going to, we're going to push it. You know, the problem is the game is, is, is setting me up to hold myself back on purpose. I'm not taking out bandit camps. I'm not doing tier two because I don't want to deal with the raids. So like, honestly, I might just make the raids easier. We'll see. I haven't, I haven't made a choice on it either way, but I'm just kind of thinking out loud. All right, that's where I got to be. 
So let's go ahead and put down a signpost as close to this place as it can get. Oh, it needs to be farther away. Okay. And right about right about here. What do you think, guys? Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I did bring some stuff for the signpost, but I'm going to have to cut down a tree. Here we are, guys. I'm going to grab these quests off camera. Uh, right now, I just want to go to the main quest guy. Uh, get this place up to at least associate. See if I can recruit a couple people. We'll see. Uh, I am kind of low on renown, so there's a lot of quests here, though, which is really awesome. And where is my guy or lady? Hey, hold up there, buddy. Wait. Uh, are those bandits coming in or what? Seems like it. That nobody seems to care, though. Uh, is anybody going to do anything about those bandits? Or? Livestock, keeping them fed and watered. I don't know. It doesn't even look like they're coming in. They're just kind of hanging out. Alright. Um, where is this? Yeah, there you are. Alright, what's up, bro? That was a mix between buddy and bro. <laughs> the merchant pen says, yes, got it. Okay. Okay, now you've got yourself a deal. Hand over the gold. Sure, I'll make you an offer instead. 300 gold, what do you say? No, I certainly want to sell his drink. Neither do I. Alright, I, I gotta read that. And I'm a little bit nervous because of the bandits. Okay. Uh, you know what? Why don't we do this? We save the game. And then we'll see what this quest is all about. What can I do for you today? Alex said to find uh, a flask for mixing here. Uh, right, he did mention that last before, but you're a new face. Uh, how'd Alex rope you into doing this busy work? Uh, the merchant passed out recruiting me to help with this blah, blah, blah. Let me please hand it over. Which led me to you. Uh, wait, if you're helping Cyrus with the delirium, does that mean you've got the secret spice on you? Yes. Uh, why do you care? Uh, I have a contact who wants to export the drink. Okay, so I can take the renown or the gold, I believe. No. Okay, I'm going to take the renown. I think I can I think I think could get the gold, but I'd lose the renown. So let's drink. Neither do I. Okay. All right, so now I got the mix, mi now I got the uh, mixing flask. So I think if I took the gold, it might have finished the quest. Luck, that's what that's what I'm world. thinking. But this quest gives like renown, which I think is more important than gold at this point. And 250 renown is not, you know, it's not a small amount. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was really curious on what would happen if I take the gold. So I reloaded the save. I took the gold, and he told me to come back and talk to this I can't dude. Wait to taste this year's batch of now I sold the spices that was supposed to be used to make the. <laughs> so about that what's wrong um i was attacked and robbed by bandits on the way back everything is gone i'm sorry i sold the spices i sold the spice but i'm happy to share the profits with you uh okay well well um save game we'll do a season 1.2 <laughs> let's see if we can get away with something here batch of delirium. about that uh, i was robbed you poor thing here, take your pay. Replace whatever they took from you. I'll find something else to serve at the solstice. Is there any downside to what I just did? I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't think there was. I think that was the ultimate way to play that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go back to that uh, new town. What's that new town called? I'm never gonna remember the name of these new towns. Uh, Black Ridgepool. I'm gonna go back to Black Ridgepool, and I'm gonna continue playing the game as you know, before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this in season 1.2. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Here, let's make a new one. Season one. Uh, how would I say what I just did? Um, robbed a guy. I'll just put robbed a guy. R robbed. Robbed. I'll just put robbed. Season one robbed. All right. What I'll do is I'll save that save file. So if you guys get back to me and you're like, Cage, you just ruined your game. They're going to find out what you did and you, you're screwed. I could roll back if I really have to. Um, so if I if I did screw myself there, if you guys did this and it's and it, like they found out and I don't think they I don't think anyone was going to find out. I think I did exactly what I should have done. If you don't mind like lying to get the best results. I, I believe those are the best results. And the only downside I could see is if something happens later down the line and they find out about it. Honestly, I think the more I think about it. I don't think that's likely. So let me go back to River Bridgepool. River Bridgepool? Uh, no, Bridge... Black Ridgepool. Black Ridgepool. 
Let me go back to Black Ridgepool and grab all the quests. So Black Ridgepool had a bunch of quests for me and I can't do any of them. Someone told me in the comment section, I'm not gonna be able to do the quests from some of these towns and they're totally right. Um, I need to get to tier two. So this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to go and kick some ass, hopefully. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna kind of see. I'm gonna try and do the quest to get rid of the bandit camp near Padstown. Let's just go for it. All right, I've had enough. We're gonna try it. If it doesn't work, you know, it doesn't work, but I'm gonna do my best to take out this bandit camp. Okay, so what's the best way to attack it? Probably come down here. Yeah, we're gonna come down here, come around here. I have to wait for my people to get out here anyway. Um, hopefully they don't have any issues on the way out here, but it should be okay. We'll see. Hopefully they're kind of traveling together and we'll see where things go. So I'm going to come. Yep, we're going to go around here. I mean, I could just go through the woods maybe to get over there, but now nah, I'm going to stay on the road because I like being on the road because uh, you get that awesome stamina buff. And we're going to see how things go. Uh, you know, if it doesn't work out, then we got to keep beefing stuff up. I have figured out a decent way to... Uh, get money uh basically you could sell river reeds uh to this guy in the main town uh but only buy like 11 at a time so that's a that's a little bit of a problem uh but he'll buy 11 every day uh now i went ahead and bought all of the uh the boar the boar fur from him and that's like that was almost 500 dollars. so <laughs> uh yeah we've, we've got our work cut out for us and uh we'll just see what we can do here what's going on with these bandits over here i don't know where's my guys yeah, it's going to take a while to get my looking <laughs> marching across the, the freaking countryside. All right. If I had my crew with me, I wouldn't have to worry about these guys. I'd just be like, go in and get them. Although, I probably don't want my guys to get hurt before the major fight. So, maybe I would avoid the bandits anyway. Uh, but if they come across bandits on the way here, they're going to fight them. So, it is what it is. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes. So, let's get, this, uh, let's get this attack set up and see how it goes. Took my guys a long time to get down here. It's getting kind of late in the day. I probably, I think I started this around 10 or 11. I probably should have waited till tomorrow, but that's all right. We'll probably be okay. Uh, we're going to change them to hold. And that way they won't go into attack. Uh, I kind of want them to sit back and wait for the enemies to come. Although with the archers, maybe I should. Now nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold. I'm going to, I'm thinking my archers will attack them. So. All right, so we should be really good. Order right here. <clears throat> and I will pull. Oh, come on. Bag. All right. There we go, we got one down already. Oh, I ran out of stamina. No, I ran out of stamina. Oh, okay. All right. Throw my shield, I'm going after their archer. Alright. Charge! Oh, you missed Saka. Oh, maybe I should got my freaking weapon. And camp's done. Alright, cool. Uh, everyone follow me, please. And let's loot this camp and then get back home. Okay, I guess I might as well take... Now, nah, let's take the other things first. I don't think I need garlic. I'll put that away. Now, put that away. I don't think I lost anybody. I think they're just all just hungry. Uh, examine. Cool. Somebody said get the flag. So, everyone tells me to get the bandit flag, but every time I come here, it says claim already cleared. I think you're supposed to run in and ignore the bandits and grab that flag, so... Um, how much renown did I get? I didn't notice. That's only one strap, although I haven't looted the bodies yet. So, I don't see anything else that's lootable around here. Oh, here we go. No, no strap there. I'm getting some gold, though. For honor, for glory. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you. Um, take my stuff. I don't know why I keep having a bunch of arrows on me. Let's show them what we're made of. Oh, I got to make bags for people. Crap. I forgot I made pouches for some people and not others. All right. That should be good. Is there anything else to loot in here? I'm not seeing anything else. Should yeah, I just send them home here. now? It's gonna take them forever to get home. Uh, I don't see any reason not to. Except if I have to clear out inventory space. Uh, inventory. Let me clear out as much inventory space as I can. 
I should probably also heal the ones that need to be healed. Yeah, they all look okay. Alright, guys. Go home. Uh, maybe I should bring them home with me. You know what? Never mind, guys. You know what? We're gonna go home together. I'm not just gonna have you guys wandering through the countryside. Not in an army. I mean, that sounds stupid. Yeah, okay. Follow me. And we'll see how things go here. Let's kind of... We already zoomed in all the way. So let's go and loot all these things. I'm not getting a lot of stuff from here, man. Like, I didn't feel like it, considering it was a level 2 bandit camp. Uh, sage. Looks like we got some people in the harvest. I'm just going to harvest this stuff to get it out of the way. I don't see their... Ba oh, there they are. Alright, there's one. Alright, it's, it's going okay now. It's not like it was a hard camp, to be honest. And we did get some money, too. Is that everything? For honor for glory. Yes, for honor for glory. You know what I could... Oh, little kitty! Kitty! Oh, I can't because I'm in an army. Okay. Alright, did we get everything? I think we got everything. The quest is definitely done. And I don't see anything else to loot. So let's head home. And, yeah, you know what I could do, guys, for money and for renown? I could just bring my entire crew with me and just go butcher every single, like, bandit I find. You know? I don't think I don't think killing individual bandits ups your uh, raid threat. Uh, maybe it does, but, yeah, I don't really know. Come through here. What is this? Oh, that's right. I've been to this town before. Yeah. We have to get home though. It's get it's getting late. So I want to turn in the quest that I just did. Um, is that in this town? I thought it was in Harden, but I don't know. I guess not. No, it's pa Padstow. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it was close to Padstow. All right, whatever. We're gonna come up here to Harden Dean or whatever it's called, and I'm gonna show you where I sell my reeds, and then I am going to. I'm probably not gonna continue buying the boar hide until I absolutely have to. But I'm telling you, man, like I need a lot of it it feels like so and I'm gonna see where we're at uh, I'll probably get a base attack next episode and then let's see how that raid goes and then I'm gonna decide whether I want to move into tier two I, I know I'm probably Those gonna have to move into tier two grateful. but I, I would like to get the base attack first and see how it goes the raid Times are tough but yep. with a little coin what do you have in stock bro so there you go so yeah he just sells the fur he sells the hide I am going to sell him the reeds oh he takes 17 today Oh, that's really nice. That is a pleasant surprise. Can anybody else? Can anybody tell me anywhere else that buys uh, reeds? Because I, I wouldn't mind going around selling them. We just made 170 gold, so that's pretty cool. So should I buy the fur? I mean, I have a decent amount um, of money. We are keeping the. I'm gonna hold off. I don't think it Ashmark. like. I don't think it's really that big of a deal to buy it all at once because he does sell a few of it. So, we'll we'll see about that. Let's uh let's go to Padstown and turn in this quest. I feel like wiping out a bandit camp should give me like a lot of whatever with these people. How goes the hunt? So let's Did see what we got. Nice work. I'm impressed. A rookie like you taking on the camp full of bandits. Take this, you earned it. But stay vigilant. News Bastards from the kingdom. could try There's to raid your something. own camp in retaliation at hmm. any time. Got it. Uh, why didn't you say that? Uh, thank you for the warning. Bye for now. Okay. Oh, we think get trust. Oh, we got trust. It. Wait, we got trusted Hardeen for this quest? It's anything you can spare, kind soul. Um, I raided a... I destroyed the bandits outside of here and got... Okay, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I would like to get one more person. Um, I don't know if I want to... What am I in... Is there any way to tell... Uh, what I am as far as Bradford goes? Yeah, there we go. So, I'm a friend in Bradford. Uh, okay. So, I want to get one more person. Uh, for my camp today. It's so let me go through all these people. Here. Do you need assistance? And see, oh, hold on. Resilient, pessimist. Oh, yeah, pessimist. I, I don't know how big, how much of a deal that is. Like, I don't, I don't know. I really don't. Them hey, carpenter, what's going on? I'm pretty sure I can't get this lady. Right place. Yeah. Just okay. That's all right. Um, probably can't get the expert yes. blacksmith either. Is there something you need? Oh, I can't even try and get the expert blacksmith. It's not often that a what about you? comes here. Do you need assistance? Yeah, you're kind of mid, bro. You know what? This guy's pretty good. He's an optimist. He's a nomad. He gets hungry a little faster, but 
Uh, he's also fierce. And look at all his stats fighting. That Not bad. Not bad at all. And he's pretty good at farming. Alright, for sure. Glad to hear it. Alright, hopefully he has a place to live. I'm pretty sure I have a place for him. I think he's my 10th person. And each place can hold two people, so... Here we go. And... Worker. Yep. Alright, cool. So now we have 10 people. That's awesome. Let me show you something else, by the way. I am in Brad Bradford, by the way. And check this guy out. Quick. Fine wares at fair prices. That so he sells fur for 10 gold cheaper. And he also sells pelts. Now... I don't think I would pay for pelts. I mean, pelts are kind of important, but 25 gold is kind of expensive for something that I can get from traps. But still, uh, that's pretty good, and the hide's not bad either. Unfortunately, he doesn't buy the river reeds. I would like to find some other people that, that will purchase river reeds from me. But, yeah. Seems like we are okay. We're Let me look the peace here in the name of Lord Ashbourne. All right. Well, I don't need to talk to anybody else because I don't have enough uh, renown to get another person. Um, and I don't see anyone else that sells anything, so... Um, yeah, you know what? I think we're just... Oh, look at Kitty. Kitty. Why can't I pet him? Dude, I can't pet the cats anymore? That's BS. Oh, 0 out of 10. I want a refund. <laughs> Why can't I pet the cats anymore? Yeah, it we're is what it is. Peace here in the name of Lord yeah, yeah, I got it. Alright, let's get back to base. Someone give me a really cool idea to have one farm for each kind of crop. Okay. And right now I have a flax farm, and I have a hemp farm, and I have a second flax farm. Um, I don't really need this much wheat right now. I've got wheat coming out of my freaking ears. And they said what you do is you simply make a stockpile for each farm, and just for that one item. It's very simple. And then, you know, if it fills up, maybe stop growing them. I don't know. Keep growing them. I don't know what happens to stuff. Let's say uh, this one over here, by the way. This one's for hemp. All right? So this one right here is supposed to be just hemp. Although I haven't set it up for that yet, but that, that'll be just hemp. Here, let's go to the ones I did set up. So this one right here um, is set up to hold wheat. That's going to be a wheat farm. Right now, I have this farm set up for flax just because I want to mass produce flax. But eventually, that will be a permanent wheat farm. So let's say this wheat... Uh, by the way, I renamed the storage. Let's say this wheat storage is full and I'm still growing wheat. What happens to the rest of the wheat? You know, I just... I don't know. Um, I want to... I would think if this fills up... Maybe stop growing wheat, but then I'm thinking, no, because I did that with flax, and it bit me in the butt. I am severely behind on crafting a lot of stuff, because everything takes flax. I never should have stopped making flax. Never should have stopped. So, this is the flax one. I'm going to show you how to rename these. You press B, and you go to rename, <clears throat> and then F, and then you simply rename it to what you want. So, this will be flax. Okay. And there you go. And I will spend some time uh, properly organizing these, make sure everything's where it's got to go. And I, you know, my organization here is a little bit up in the air because I'm kind of learning as I go. But I'm getting more and more focused as we go. Like right here, uh, this is going to be a hemp farm. So we go none of that, none of that, none of that. And we go down here into resources. It is a resource, right? I think it is. Uh, H, 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 hemp. There we go. And now they should take everything out of there over time. And this should be just hemp. And that's it. And then uh, I will have one for hemp, wheat, and flax. I don't know about after that. I'm probably going to need another one for sage. Uh, <laughs> the farms are going to start taking up a lot of room. That's for damn sure. Uh, let me. I'm not going to place down the farm. But let's see where I would place it down if I was to start doing more farm plots. See, I don't even want to go that way anyway. I would like to go this way because this is uh, everything's supposed to be around that that um, town hall thing or whatever I'm making. So yeah, oh yeah, right there. Okay, so now I'd put another one, probably like right. I don't want it to be too close to the. Yeah, I don't know, probably one right there, and then start working our way over here. And there's lots of farmland over here. I mean, I could just make the farmland over here and just, I mean, this this would obviously be the, I could fit like four farms in here, so. Uh, maybe I'll do that. I'm not really sure. It's kind of up in the air. We're uh, doing some organic building here. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe Night's for more back. daily Thank videos. You. Stop interrupting me. I'm trying to do my outro. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.